Hi everyone, it's Sandy here and this is the full moon mandala of Love Light <laughs> that uh, wanted to come together in celebration of this full moon at four degrees of Scorpio, um, which is in the early hours for us here in the UK tomorrow morning on the 24th. So this was a very uh, radiant golden mandala that came called to come together. Um, and those of you that are familiar with the roses um, and their energy will be able to read quite clearly where we're going with this. Uh, what we've got here at the top of the mandala is the soul star clearly calling us into connection with uh, a more galactic aspect of self and calling in much more of a trust and a connection with our higher soul self, really beginning to anchor in a new level of sovereignty, of sense of personal um, alignment, personal inner strength, and to a degree, um, empowerment, or, although I'm, I'm not very keen on the empowerment word myself. Um, at the bottom here, here is Master Rose 3, inviting us into a new level of balance, um, harmony within self, balancing the right and left hand hemispheres of the brain, balancing the masculine feminine streams, the Ida Pingala currents within the body, to um, enable a clearer and clearer connection with source and high soul self. So there is a beautiful alignment here. There's a very radiant citrine here with full of rainbows in the foundation, a double ended citrine that wanted to sit across the base of the six pointed star um, and a, a citrine ank around the uh, sort of corona, if you like, of roses, there uh, are selenite um, wands. So if we look on this right, on this, uh, this side of the, of the mandala, we have um, three beautiful energies. One is the, the, the base one here is connected in to receptivity, very yin energy calling us into opening to receive, opening to be more receptive in our lives. Rose Bagua one, new beginnings. What is reached its zenith for you in this full moon? What is ready to be released so that you can step forward and start to seed new beginnings? And here is uh, Rose Angel 11, the golden heart and she says, I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and end of your search. And I hand you the golden key. There's a real invitation with this particular rose to, to step in. So we have receptivity to that's asking us to step in and another level of, of a, a new approach, a new way of thinking, new way of being. And then on this side, we have uh, Master Rose One, and she is the Divine Masculine, really asking for balance, harmony, um, and a sense of connection with a, a, a more authentic masculine energy that certainly isn't a power over. It is about uh, being held and steady with a good foundation and... Um, yeah, really, really feeling the support of external masculine, authentic power, um, and our own internal masculine, authentic power. Then on round to Rosemar Six, and she says, I am Transformer. And you can see with this rose, you know, her outer petals are, are drained. They have given all their juice. And there is this new potential that's arising from the heart of this rose. And at the top, we've got Rose Bagua Four. And she says, ah, remember abundance, wealth, and blessings 
and that abundance doesn't necessarily, or wealth, or money, doesn't actually um, make the totality of a sense of um, abundance in life. And so to really recognise all of our blessings, what we already have, and being grateful for that, allows for more uh, to be received. So there we are. Abundance, wealth and blessings. I am Transformer, the authentic Divine Masculine. The, the path of the golden flame. This rose calls herself the golden flame. She is what alights within us when we bring balance to masculine and feminine. I am receptive. I open to receive. The feminine is often has been so programmed to give uh, in order to be safe and loved. And it is in opening to receive that we're being called. And new beginnings and the golden heart. All anchored in, <clears throat> excuse me, with the ank and opening to the soul star, our soul star, our portal of connection to our personal Akasha. And this beautiful energy of these golden roses, reminding us of the golden heart and the golden heart of the rose and the rose of Mystica. New, uh, full moon blessings, everybody. And um, I hope you enjoy.